A box falls from an elevator that is ascending at 2 meters per second. It strikes the bottom after 1.3 seconds. The first question asks, how long will it take the box to reach its maximum height? Consider downward acceleration is positive. Now this might sound like a very odd question because it's talking about an elevator going up. So here we have an elevator ascending upwards. And I'm just going to make the box here the sign of the elevator. And at some point this box is being detached and starts falling downwards. But you have to remember that it was initially on its way upwards. Okay, so it will still go upwards for a little while before it starts falling downwards. Okay, and that would be its maximum height. Okay, so what do we know about this question? That's the first thing we always ask is what do we know? Well, of course we know that initial velocity, uh, that constant acceleration is 9,8 meters per second and since um, downward acceleration is positive, this will stay positive. Okay, what do we also know is the moment that it got detached, it, or actually the moment it was still attached, that very moment it was let go kind of, it was upwards, it was moving upwards at a velocity of 2 meters per second because it was still part of this thing. So you remember that according to Newton's law, whatever goes up. Now you remember that according to Newton's laws, something in motion wants to stay in motion unless an external force is acting on it. So it wants to stay in motion upwards, but there's gravity force acting on it, pulling it downwards. So once it is let go, it is moving at that initial velocity of 2 meters per second. So initial velocity is 2 meters per second, but remember it was going upwards. So that must be negative 2 meters per second. Now what we also do know is that the total time in which it takes to reach the bottom, this total time going up and coming down, that total time is 1,3 seconds. Okay. The final thing that we know for the first question, how long does it take for the box to reach its maximum height? Here we have the maximum height. We know the velocity at this point is equal to zero. So just considering the first part of this question, the first short journey, what do we know during this journey? Well, we know initial velocity, final velocity, constant acceleration, and we want to calculate how long it takes the box to reach this height. So we want to calculate delta t. So delta t with the values that we do have, we will need this formula. With that formula in mind, we have that future velocity is equal to initial velocity plus a delta t. We have future velocity is zero, initial velocity is 2 meters per second, but it was upwards, so it's negative 2 meters per second, plus 9,8 meters per second squared times delta t. To solve delta t, we add a 2 on both sides to get rid of the negative 2. So we get that 2 is equal to 9,8 delta t. To solve for delta t now, we are going to have to divide both sides with 9,8. Dividing both sides with the 9,8 gives me the delta t is equal to, let's use our calculator, Two divided by 9.8 gives me 0 0,204 seconds. So 0 0,204 will round to 0 and therefore 0 0,2 seconds. That's how long it's going to take from when it's um, dropped until it reaches its maximum height.